Effects of air pollution. Effects of air pollution are a global problem. The air we breathe is filled with all sorts of toxic chemicals that can cause serious health problems. Studies have shown air pollution to be linked to increased risk of asthma, lung cancer, and heart disease. Air quality has been found to worsen the symptoms of those living with chronic respiratory conditions such as asthma or emphysema. It also causes millions of people around the world to live in fear every day because they might develop severe illnesses from air pollutants just by going outside. The Effects of Air Pollution on Human Health Human health is the most fragile of all environments. When people are exposed to air pollution, they can experience serious respiratory problems that will have long-term effects on their lungs and physical performance. Air pollutants like ozone, O3, in urban areas cause a reduction in lung function by 5% over 24 hours which then has an effect on pulmonary functions such as breathing rate, tidal volume, or how quickly you exhale your breath after taking it into your body etc. It's been shown that chronic exposure to high levels of these kinds of pollutants causes lower immune system functioning due to reduced concentrations from white blood cells called neutrophils, this may increase the chances of developing infections. There also appears to be increased risks for cancer when individuals live near industrial areas. Effects of Air Pollution The Effects of Air Pollution on Animals Air pollution is bad for animals and causes long-term effects such as increased stress levels. Animals can be affected by air pollution in a number of ways, including an increase in the level of cortisol, a hormone associated with chronic stress, found circulating through their body systems. Airborne particulate matter has also been linked to brain damage and other cognitive impairments among mammals, which makes sense considering that these particles are small enough to enter into our body's cells and even cross over the blood-slash-brain barrier after they bind onto chemical substances there like fat or protein molecules on cell surfaces, thus accumulating within tissues too. The Effects of Air Pollution on Plants There are many situations where plants can be hurt by air pollution. Plants need clean water and oxygen to survive but when exposed to high levels of CO2 or ozone, they will not thrive like before. Scientists have long speculated what the effects of air pollution would be on plants. A recent study has now proven that even if you are not directly affected by your city's smog, it can still affect how well a plant grows and develops. Scientists found in this most recent experiment that when they exposed seeds to high levels of ozone for 10 hours at a time over the course of 6 months, these same seedlings were stunted after four weeks compared to those who had never been exposed to any elevated amounts during their growth period. This is significant as we know about all other types of pollutants which contribute such things as acid rain, which also affects vegetation, but testing confirmed once again just how damaging an effect our personal vehicle's exhaust fumes could truly have on. The Effects of Air Pollution on Climate Change It is no secret that air quality has been deteriorating over the past years. There are many reasons for this, such as climate change and pollution from cars, homes, industrial facilities, but it seems to have had an especially large effect on global warming. Scientists found a correlation between high levels of pollutants in the atmosphere with increased levels of greenhouse gases which contribute to rising temperatures, among other things, because these nitrous oxide emissions can trap heat near Earth's surface, creating what we know today as global weirding. This also means there will be more extreme weather events like droughts or storms where they never used to happen before, leading us back into another ice age-like scenario if something doesn't give soon. The Effects of Air Pollution on Ecosystem Air pollution is a major problem that has been affecting the environment for centuries. It can be found in all parts of the world, and it affects ecosystems from forests to farms, oceans, deserts, and mountains. Since animals are inhaling this air as well, they will suffer similar effects such as breathing problems, heart failure, or even death if left untreated long enough. Pollution does not discriminate where it's going. Fish eating orcas have seen their prey population decline by up to 65% because of acidification caused by sulfur dioxide emissions, which reduces calcium levels needed for healthy shellfish development, according to research done on pearl oysters at an area Gulf Coast Shell Fishery Association lab. This leads us to conclude how important clean air really is. The Effects of Air Pollution on Aquatic Life Since the Industrial Revolution, there has been an increase in air pollution. This is due to human activities such as burning fossil fuels and cooking with gas or coal for warmth during the winter months. One of many effects that this phenomenon produces on aquatic life is a decline in species diversity, specifically, fish populations are shrinking because they cannot survive high levels of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere entering into their habitat through surface water, Lopez Medrano. 
There have also been studies conducted by Albert et al., which found that higher concentrations of ozone can cause damage to gills, making it harder for fish's blood cells to function normally without oxygen present, Alberts. In addition, increased atmospheric nitrogen deposition may alter freshwater ecosystems near sources like urban areas. The Effects of Air Pollution on Agriculture Air pollution is a major issue. It affects the environment, human health, and safety, animal welfare, ecosystems around us, and now there are indications it may also affect agriculture in an unexpected way, by altering crop yield. A new study published this week found that one type of air pollutant called nitrogen oxides can cause crops to produce less viable food for humans or livestock because they reduce plant photosynthesis efficiency when released into our atmosphere from industrial emissions such as power plants and vehicle exhausts. Climate change has already been shown to be having negative impacts on agricultural production worldwide. These findings suggest we'll need more than climate action alone if we want future generations of farmers to have enough food growing season after planting season under increasingly challenging conditions. In the past few decades, air pollution has been a major threat to agriculture in many different countries. Air pollutants like sulfur dioxide and nitrogen oxide have increased by 40% since 1990, while phosphorus content decreased 70%. This causes significant damage to plants because of these two factors, one is that it inhibits photosynthesis at such high levels, photosynthesis being how crops make their food, so they can't grow or produce as much yield, another reason for this is that there's not enough nutrient-rich soil due to depletion from other sources of emissions which makes life difficult when trying to plant things. If we want our agricultural system back on track, then steps need to be taken now before planting season starts in order to figure out what needs to be done most urgently with regards to water. The Effects of Air Pollution on Global Warming Smog and acid rain have been ruining the atmosphere for decades, but now it turns out that they're causing more than just respiratory problems. Smog is actually one of many contributors to climate change, as well as a cause of global warming. Air pollution is worsening global warming. According to a recent study, if air quality were improved by 10%, the carbon emissions would be cut down by 0.4%. This reduction in CO2 and other greenhouse gases could help mitigate some of the effects of climate change, such as heat waves, droughts, floods, and more extreme weather events like storms that will continue to escalate unless we act now. The Effects of Air Pollution on Economy The air is so polluted that it's making the economy worse. There are many reasons for this, including less spending on goods and services because people don't want to go outside, lack of tourism due to pollution levels in the city sky high enough as if they've been blasted with a chlorine bomb, higher level of absenteeism from school slash work when kids can barely breathe or teachers cannot teach because their eyes have started watering profusely. It doesn't help either that there has been an increase in hospital visits, especially among children which could lead them into respiratory illnesses such as asthma by inhaling particles like ozone gas and nitrogen oxide emitted during combustion engine processes, for example, driving. Pollution also leads to health problems. The Effects of Air Pollution on Ozone Layer Polluted air may be making the ozone layer thinner. In turn, this can make us more susceptible to skin cancer and other cancers that get their start in our lower atmosphere, such as lung or breast. This is a major problem because if it gets worse, we could see an increase of people with these types of illnesses, which would lead to many fatalities each year from preventable diseases instead of death by natural causes due to old age, etc. Scientists are continually trying new ways like aerosols, spraying chemicals into polluted areas, but they have not been able to find anything yet, so hopefully, one day soon, someone will come up with something great for all those who live on Earth. The Effects of Air Pollution on Acid Rain it's a sad truth that the air we breathe is not always clean. There are many pollutants in it, and some of these cause acid rain which can have detrimental effects on human health as well as natural habitats nearby lakes, for example. Acid rain has been known to reduce visibility levels while also posing risks such as respiratory problems or poor quality water resources due to its increased corrosiveness towards surfaces like metal pipes and buildings made from stone or concrete. It's important for us all to work together so that pollution will no longer be an issue. The Effects of Air Pollution on Non-Living Things When we think of pollution, it's usually on living things that come to mind plants and animals. But air pollution has a significant effect on non-living objects as well. One such example is acid rain which can cause damage when the polluted gases dissolve in rainfall. This may settle onto leaves, leaving an acidic residue thereon with resulting negative effects for plant life like burning them, 